Welcome everyone to the new Fly Fisher. I'm your host, Bill Spicer. On this week's show, we're in Algoma country in Sault Ste. Marie. Our quarry for this week, Steelhead. Now Sault Ste. Marie has the bragging rights to one of the best areas in North America to take Steelhead, and that's the St. Mary's Rapids. We'll talk about equipment, flies, and everything else you need to know to take these fish. It's gonna be a great show, folks, so stay with us. We'll be right back. Let him go back to live another day. Oh, away he goes. Great fish. Wow. Oh, baby. Look at that fish. Stop, wiggle, on the way down. The new Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Algoma Country, That Real. Ontario, yours to discover. Orvis Sporting Traditions. Islander Precision Reels. Rail Riders Outdoor Clothing, the toughest clothes on the planet. Net Staff, the world's first wading staff and net. On today's show, the new Fly Fisher crew is back in Algoma Country in Sault Ste. Marie. Sault Ste. Marie, or the Sioux as it's nicknamed, is located on the St. Mary's River in Ontario. Across the river is its twin city of Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. The two cities are connected by an international bridge which crosses over the rapids and the locks. Great Lakes shipping bypassed the rapids by using the American Sioux Locks, one of the world's busiest canals. Pleasure craft use the locks on the Canadian side of the rapids. The city offers top-notch accommodations, restaurants, shopping, a casino, train tours through the Agua Canyon, and a picturesque boardwalk that follows the harbor front. The great thing about coming to Sault Ste. Marie is it's a drive-to destination. I very much want to do this on a budget, so I've rented a room in a very nice, reasonably priced hotel, and I've hired a guide. Hiring a guide is important at least for a day in order to learn the access points and the best pools in the rapids. The guide I've hired is Brad Hodkinson, owner of Sioux North Fly Shop located in the city. I'm sure with Brad's intimate knowledge of the rapids, I will have a successful trip. Nice little male. Yeah. It's really colored, eh? Now, this is exactly where Brad told me the fish was. Holding at the top of the pool. And I placed the, the fly high enough up that uh, it got down in time. Not very big. Oh, nice four pounder. Yep. You got her there, buddy? There we go. There we go. Let me get my my tailing glove out here. Pop it out there. Yep. That's gonna go. Now. It's a good start. I've been here five minutes. It's a good start. Yeah. Nice little Nice powder. colored up. This is your spawning colors. You see how deep that red is? Well, just and that's, that's a small one for here. Yep. Oh, yeah, very small. That's very small. Nice little guy, though. <laughs> well, sir. Thank you. It didn't take long for the smell of skunk to get off this. It did it. <laughs> huh? that, that's pretty good. No, I like that. No. Perfect. Now, to the audience, steelhead is my absolute favorite fish and I think it is for you and oh, yeah, a bunch of other guys there's just nothing like it and and we have such a plentiful supply in this area this is this is a good fishery isn't this it? this is all natural too it's yeah no stocking um, you know a lot of catch and release here yes you know well, that, that's good that's yeah, good it's uh 
which is nice. Yeah. You know, I don't begrudge anybody taking a fish. Either do I, and, that, and that's a good thing to make a point. I'm not complete catch and release. There's nothing wrong with one or two fish. No, selective harvest yeah, is... Yeah, selective harvest, nothing wrong with it. Yeah. We got enough fish around here, but oh. you can see I've been here five minutes. Not a lot of fishermen right now. Now, there are times. We'll oh, explain yeah. that there are times there is lots of fish, yep, uh, lots, lots of people. Lots and lots of people, yes. you know, at yeah. times. Uh, but we had a nice day today. Yeah. You know, it's, Overcast, it's cool. It's definitely it, cool. Northern Ontario. Yeah. <laughs> now, I will retie because I've caught a fish, so I'm going to retie my knots. Always do that. Uh, you, may, you may think it's okay, but for sure the next fish is going to be big and you'll lose it. You can only access the rapids from the Canadian side and your first impression is the rapids appear quite intimidating. This is not the case though. The St. Mary's River drains Lake Superior into Lake Huron with the rapids only a minor two-thirds of a mile of its length by a one-quarter of a mile wide. The riverbed is bedrock, boulders, rubble, gravel and sand, perfect spawning grounds for fish. The rapids are divided in two by a cement dike that runs its length. Inside the dike are quite weightable waters with pools, runs, and riffles. On the far side of the dike are the main rapids with many channels, rapids, and runs. There are also three large pools that hold a multitude of fish. The largest and most productive pool is the Canadian pool. Fish on. <laughs> There's a rock in front of me here. Brad told me to fish. He's seen two fish behind it, and they're hanging in the tight water there, and it's, it's been a real difficult drift to get to. But uh, I finally got one good drift, and he took it. Not a very big fish, but it's a well, good one. It's a nice looking little female there, Bill. I don't know. It doesn't look very dark, so yeah. Anytime, Brad. I think she's ready there, Bill. You got it? Yep. I can't see you. <laughs> got it. All right. Well, you go, buddy. Thank you. That fish is a lot bigger than what you thought. Now, this is a hen. If you look at the mouth, it's a lot smaller than, the, than that male I just got. Now, I'm going to wait till she kicks. And she kicked on yep, her own. There she goes. Very good. Well done, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Again, right behind the rock. Brad said he had, he, had, he had spotted two fish there. And it was a little tough to work trying to get it to sink fast enough. So I added one more split shot, got it down quickly, and that's when it hit. Oh, let's do that again. Yeah. When coming to the St. Mary's Rapids, safety is of the utmost importance. The water here is fast, turbulent, and the rocks are slippery. The first thing I recommend is a good waiting staff. This is your third leg. My guide Brad insists that all his clients have some sort of third leg or waiting staff. It can be anything from a stick to a uh, old ski pole or a nice waiting staff like I have. The second thing is, some sort of spike system on your boots or a good felt system. Don't come here with just rubber boots. I found out the hard way a couple of years ago when I fell in. Luckily I wasn't hurt and just my pride was bruised. So remember, safety is of the utmost importance when you come to the Sioux Rapids. The steelhead, usually they start mid-March. They run through almost to the end of June if the water temperatures stay, you know, nice and cool. Then we start getting into the Atlantic salmon, which go from the end of June, they start trickling in right through to mid-August. And then we get into our pink salmon, which start mid-August. We'll get some odd Chinooks come in at the same time. They run through right until the end of September into October. And then we get into some coho's, you know, run right into November. And then we get our, our fall steelhead from there on. There's a, a big rock out here and uh, the water's going around it and it's creating a back eddy, which is a seam. And the fish move in and out of that. 
to get their food. So like, he'll come back and he'll rest in that eddy a little bit, and then he'll get back out into the main stream again. And he'll just keep going back and forth, back and forth. You really gotta work those pockets. You may not see fish in them, but... Oh, they're there. They're, they're there. They're there. That's the resting place. There we go. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Coming down. He's cooperating somewhat. Coming back upstream. That's a good sized fish. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Oh, he hit the rock. He hit the rock. That was a good sized fish. That was a good fish. Now, not much I could do about that. Uh, the rocks around here are very slick. And I was a little reluctant to really run down there. I've, I've gone in before, as people have seen on other shows. Um, you really got to be careful here. The leader touched the rock, and I was just about to say I'm a little concerned about that, and it did it. Oh, well. I got a hookup. I got a fish yeah. on. Hey. Yeah. That's what it's about. <laughs> the tug is the drug, isn't it? Yeah. We opened up the fly shop four years ago so we saw there was a need for a fly shop in the Algoma country. We specialize in steelhead and Atlantic salmon, but we can take care of the rest of the species up here. Bass, pike, muskie, pickerel, you name it, we can take care of it. Our store hours are nine to five, seven days a week. If you need a river report, give us a call anytime. Rod and reel selection when coming to the Sioux is very important. I don't recommend anything less than a seven weight. Uh, these fish here are large and powerful and will break anything that's lighter than that. Uh, the length of the rod, this is a nine foot number seven. I also have an 11 foot number seven, that switch rod that I've been using with a lot of success. It's a great nymphing rod. Reels, large arbor. The large arbor is needed because these fish will run directly at you and you need the ability to pick up line quickly. Smooth drags. Now this is probably the most important. These fish will go for long runs. I had one go well into my backing yesterday. So a smooth drag is definitely needed. Otherwise you risk losing the fish and probably the fish of your life. There it is. Fish on. Now, oh. what did he hit? Did he hit Joe's egg or did he hit my mega prince? Hard to say. Good fish, too. Yeah. Good fish. Yep. That that uh, pink or... Uh, peaches and cream. Peaches and cream egg. That's what it is. I'm, Okay. These nice silver fish. Head up. Ooh. Oh, we got luck. <laughs> That's how we get them. That's, That's how we get them. Yes, em. sir. Very good, very good. My first fly got caught in the net there. Yeah. Put my tailing glove on. Yeah. Pretty good fish. It's a spawned out female. I thought it was silver, but uh, she's uh, waiting down there, feeding up, getting ready to go back out to the lake. Well, she's in good shape. In good shape, yeah, yeah, just feeding. So. Oh, 
One thing I'm doing, I'm waiting till my indicator gets in front of me and then I throw a big mend and continue to mend the line upwards. It's called stack mending. And you get a very, very long drift out of it. Here, I'll show you, I'll show you control. again. Yeah, it's all control. So watch, I put the indicator over here, it gets in front of me, I throw the big first mend, then I just continue to stack mend like that. Nice straight drift down straight the river. Straight drift and, oh, oh boy. That's where I took that last fish, it was exactly there. I'd like to talk a little bit about the flies that we recommend for the St. Mary's Rapids. Here I have some hexes, some caddis, and some searching patterns. Our favorite colors are the, the lighter colors. I have a little bit of black with some blue crystal flash in there to give it a little bit of flash. As you can see, I have large, medium, and small nymphs. Make sure that you get a little bit of peacock curl on there. It just kind of sets off that little bit of a flash that the fish really like. I was having a blast and wanted to share the wealth with Brad. After some coaxing, he relented, and then he showed me how it was done. Another one just coming off of that drop off here into this hole. You know, it didn't hit hard. It wasn't really aggressive. Oh, but man. Good fish. He's giving you a bat there, Bill. There we go. <laughs> wow. Awesome fish. Nice. Awesome nice. fish. Nice. Take her up. Oh, what a beaut. Oh, nice. What a nice, nice hand fish. And she's still got, she's still full? Oh yeah, she's full of eights. Okay, wow. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful fish, yeah. Nice, awesome color on her. Yeah. Don't want to keep her out too long. No, no. Put her face back in. Yeah, there we go. Let her go. And away she goes. Yeah. <laughs> Spotting steelhead takes practice and a good pair of polarized sunglasses. What you want to look for is the tail of the fish because it constantly moves and is the easiest to see. Once you see the tail, the rest of the fish will appear. Wow. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to run with this one. Yes, sir. There's a big fish there, Bill. Yeah, looks like it. Pretty hot. Now, you have to be really careful when you're in the rapids because it's pretty hazardous walking. This is a really, really good fish. That's a big male. Big male, yeah. So, if I can keep him in this, this run here, I should be okay. Get away from them rocks. Oh wow, this is a very nice fish. Big male.
Okay, I'm gonna try to lead them to you. Net in the water. Oh my goodness, big, that is big, a good big, fish. Big male. Oh yes. <laughs> oh man. Nicely done, Bill. Thank you very much, my friend. Here, shake my hand. <laughs> it's a way to do it. Oh boy, this, this is oh, This tremendous. is a thick fish. This is a tremendous fish. Thick, thick fish. Wow. Well, how about that, folks? On a coffin stone. Kaufman Stone, yes. There you go. Now he was exactly where Brad told me he'd be. Right behind a rock. Oh yeah. And away he goes. Oh. Well, where you next time you come to Sault Ste. Marie, look up Brad at uh, Sioux North Fly Shop. He's a great guide. I, I highly recommend him. For more information on this show and others in our series, visit us on the web at thenewflyfisher.com. From all of us here at The New Fly Fisher, thanks for joining us. Tight lines, and we'll see you next time. The New Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Algoma Country, That Real. Ontario, yours to discover. Orvis Sporting Traditions. Islander Precision Reels. Rail Riders Outdoor Clothing, the toughest clothes on the planet. Net Staff, the world's first wading staff and net. To learn more about the new fly fisher, our locations, contests, news, and much more, come visit and like us on Facebook.